Hello, my sweets. Welcome back. I sure hope you had a good Thanksgiving. But after that huge meal, we are all tired. So our next meal have to be quick and easy to make. So I'll share with you how to make the most tender steak with potatoes, okay? Or beef with potatoes. So I began by cutting my beef into cubes beautifully like this. And because I added the baking soda earlier, it has dissolved beautifully into our water. So we'll transfer our beef into it and allow it sit for about 30 minutes to get nice and tender and you can see the water is also kind of bloody so we'll get rid of the water and rinse it beautifully and set it aside i'll then go ahead to peel and cut some carrots and also potatoes today's special twos goes to mabel ajoa and lady b kitchen thank you for always watching and engaging in my videos Now go ahead and line your baking dish with a foil paper and parchment paper. The parchment paper is totally optional. If you do not have it, do not worry. I like to use it, you don't, okay? Then to a bowl, add in your nicely washed potatoes, your carrots, all-purpose seasoning, salt to taste. I'll add some paprika for the color and my secret ingredient is this celery salt. I love the flavor of celery, so that is what I want. I'll drizzle a little bit of olive oil over it, toss it around until each potato and carrot is well coated with some of our seasoning and we'll transfer it into our baking dish. Then in the same bowl, we'll add our meat to that, some green marinade, Kilewele seasoning for a little heat, all-purpose seasoning, and salt. Again, I'll drizzle a bit of olive oil over it, toss everything around, and we are done. This is a no-nonsense, no-wasting of time. One pan beef and potato dinner, okay? Or you can call it steak with potato dinner once everything is stirred in and our beef is well coated we will just add that to our potatoes for added flavor i'll add in some fresh rosemary close everything up together in order to trap the flavors okay and we'll transfer this into our oven and bake it at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 to 45 minutes. Depending on the type of oven you're using, you can check on it periodically to check if the meat is ready and if your potatoes are tender. And when it comes out, it is steaming hot. Our potatoes are melt in your mouth tender our steak or beef is fork tender the smell that comes out of this once you open it up will get all the kids running down for dinner now all that is left is for us to serve and enjoy all are invited to enjoy this deliciously easy dinner with 
me. If you've enjoyed me until now, I do want to thank you so very much. Why not let me know where you're watching from and I'll give you a special too in our next recipe. Until I see you in the next one, stay safe, keep loving each other, and remember that the love of God and family is life's greatest blessing. And guys, ke ona mini uchemi sweet eh, maha botu. Bye yo. Once Black Friday hits, y'all know it is the official start to the holiday shopping season. And I know you have a loved one out there that you need to send some money to. Well, use Tap Tap Send today. And if it is your first time using it, if you only send in them $50, they get to get $65 because we will be giving them an extra $15 to get started on their holiday shopping. Do not let under the tree be empty this holiday season. Fill it up with all the goodies you've been wanting. I love you all and be safe this holiday season.